Well, hello. I'm back with another video. Um, this time, my history with Final Fantasy Part 3. I call this part the entertaining era. So, um, I'm just gonna get started. Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 8 Steam versions. I know it's kind of weird to do these Final Fantasy games again, but I think that, um, I think there's like a huge difference between 7 and like the original 7 and 8 on console versus the Steam version. Obviously, uh, the positives, we got some, um, good resolution. Uh, the mods, like you can change the resolution is what I mean. Um, you can implement mods, uh, and, um, the game works fairly well on low-end PCs and high-end ones. Like, it, I just remember it, um, working on my, like, a 2-in-1 transformer, um, tablet laptop thingy, as well as being able to play it on my actual PC. And, uh, you know, the, uh, with the mods and everything on Steam, they actually had a great community. Just remember that. Um... The only negative I have, like, I, as usual with all of these, I did not get to play a ton of uh, this game. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. It kind of seems weird for me to include this, but I think it was worth noting that there was there were some noticeable differences between the originals and the Steam version. Anyways, I'll move on to the next game. And uh, as I mentioned before, um, I purchased this game and another game prior to beating another game that I mentioned before, or like playing another game I mentioned before, uh, Final Fantasy IX. Um, I purchased this one, I think like sometime after high school, but I think right before college. Um, so let's get some positives out of the way. Uh, so uh, I appreciate everything now as an adult, uh, not as difficult as a game to get into. It's a really, I think out of... Um, all the Final Fantasy games, this one's probably, I think, it has a good challenge as well as, um, uh, as, as well as a good rate introduction into the series. Uh, the beginning was entertaining and fun. I, I can't say that for a lot of Final Fantasy games because sometimes the beginning is really slow. And, uh, I know this one kind of starts a little slow, but, um, it really gets going. Like, there's, there's something to do one after another. Uh, and I felt that was very entertaining, at least for me. And uh, the best, it was, uh, out of all the Final Fantasy games, I felt this was the best at adding story beats. Meaning, like, um, you know, getting to know side characters, completing um, story um, content. It didn't seem, like, tacked on. It didn't seem, like, um, like side questy. It just seemed like it was adding something that you want to know more about. And then uh, the only mixed opinion I have on here is I played for, like, 10 minutes in the past but didn't get to enjoy it. I have that as like a mixed because like, um, as I said, like I appreciate I appreciate every everything now as an adult. So I felt like that was kind of mixed. If I gave it a little bit more time, I would have liked it. And then the only negative I have to this day, I, I still haven't played it that long. I probably played maybe I played it past the Living Forest, I think. And then I was grinding a lot for items and stuff. But at that point in time, I was uh, playing other games, so. Yeah. Blessings of the Great Father descend and guide your bodies return to the earth. Great Father, 
Guide your spirit's return to the mother of all. There you shall find peace. Farah. The next game that uh, I'm going to be talking about is Final Fantasy XII. Um, I'm primarily talking about the original prior Final Fantasy XII, not like the Zodiac Age. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I do. I have it for later on. The original XII, um, as I, you know, some positives, just really entertaining. Just like all the other games I mentioned before, it's good looking for a PlayStation Two game. The strategy, combat, dialogue, and the story's beginning were fantastic. Um, yeah, I think the the story and the begin the, the story's beginning uh, really wanted you to like get get involved more involved into the story because it's like there was like a war going on and stuff like that. I felt that was pretty cool, especially for a Final Fantasy game. It, most Final Fantasy games start like in the either in the thick of things like Final Fantasy VII, like you're in the middle of a mission, or it can be as slow as like Final Fantasy One, where they're just throwing you overworld and you just go inside the castle, you know, stuff like that. This one's kind of just like it's the middle of a war. <laughs> I felt like it was pretty cool. Um, definitely one of the more memorable openings. Uh, um, great soundtrack. I know I didn't mention that with the other Final Fantasy games. I think, yeah, eight and well, seven and eight. Steam. I think I've already mentioned it already has good music. And then nine. I don't think I mentioned it had good music, but from what I listened to, it was pretty good. But as I mentioned before, I didn't get to play a, a lot of it. Uh, and the only mixed opinion I have for 12 is that the grind can be terrible and the vanilla version of Final Fantasy 12 like grinding for either items um, because you can back in and out of places and get certain items I have a strategy guide so I would know as well as going on the line you, you can um, leave and exit places and like maybe a chest will appear or something like that I know that sometimes happens so the grind can be pretty bad uh, and the only negative I have right here is the combat was great but can be slow um, yeah, there are, there are instances where, like, it, 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 it seemed like an MMO, like, it, it just, the, sometimes the combat would just keep going and keep going and keep going, and it, I know it's kind of like a, like, it sh I know, like, how do I say this, um, uh, the boss fight shouldn't be super, super hard, and they shouldn't be super, super easy, but there's, like, there's like a good amount of pace and speed, and this one can sometimes be slow. But as I mentioned before, the, with the mixed one, the grind can be terrible. It can be fun. It can be interesting. Um, what I usually would do is I would play music in the background and, you know, just grind in a game or something like that. Uh, the combat was, yeah. Yeah, it can just be kind of slow sometimes. Um, and yeah, let's move on to the next Final Fantasy game. And that next Final Fantasy game is Final Fantasy Chronicles uh, for Final Fantasy IV. As I mentioned, I purchased this one beforehand. However, I played it. I think I like played it for like five minutes or something. But and I know I'm trying to go by exposure, but I think like I played like four, like just the. I didn't even finish like the first cutscene and stuff because I was just like, wow, I can't even save this game. <laughs> so I kind of just took it off. Um, but let's get some positives out of the way. The first big one I have here is um, co-op play. So um, this version of Final Fantasy IV, you can play co-op cooperatively with another player. I have that as a big plus here because I really kind of wanted to play Final Fantasy games with somebody else. And now you can literally play with somebody else. Uh, the smoothing feature is a good addition on PS2 and PS3. So you don't... I mean, it smooths out the graphics so that it just... You know, it makes it look a little bit nicer. Like, um... The pixelations look a little bit nicer. However, I think sometimes, like, you know, maybe some other things, like some pop-ups, uh, can be kind of a problem. I think I experienced that more on PS2 than PS3. And uh, I have on here played with Analog Control 2, but I don't think this game actually had Analog Control functionality, like Final Fantasy V. Um, so I think I'm going to leave that one out, because I think I tried to do it again, and it did not work. So I think this one's only digital only. Um... Another positive I have here is the aspect ratio, resolution, and graphics are all fantastic as well. 
Um, I didn't. I felt like the the game didn't need to be too big to make it look nice. I felt the resolution was great as is because it's based on the SNES version. Um, it just looks a little. It's a little enhanced, uh, and the graphics in the game itself, like the pixelated graphics and stuff, I felt were pretty good. The 16-bit graphics, sorry, are uh, all great. Uh, the only mixed, I believe, the only mixed opinion I have here. Let me just double check. Yes, is that the CG cutscenes <laughs> have aged poorly. Um, however, you know, to counteract that, I felt they were welcomed. It's a little bit different than the other, like the GBA version, the DS version. Uh, I know the DS version had cutscenes, um, as well as like the original SNES. I felt like the cutscenes were a welcome addition to the PlayStation version. Um, and then I have a couple of negatives here because I play this game a lot. Uh, the sound audio was sometimes fuzzy. Like, uh, I felt like that was kind of a problem because I would listen to the soundtrack um, uh, by itself and it would sometimes, it would sound better, you know, um, and I would be watching it like 480p, you know, like it wouldn't be like a 1080p, um, sound or, or anything like that. It wouldn't be a high definition sound. It would just be the sound from the SNES version. And it sounds, I felt like it sounded better. This one sounded a little fuzzy. And then per usual, the drop rates, I've mentioned that before, just not the best, not the best at all. I felt like it was kind of, um, it, it, it definitely ruined the experience because this game took me years to beat. This version of Final Fantasy IV took me several years. Well, if it took me hundreds of hours to beat. That's all I, that's all I know. It took me hundreds of hours, like maybe at least 200 hours to beat this game because of the damn drop rates. And it's just, yeah. That's it for this one. I'm going to move on to the next Final Fantasy game. This next Final Fantasy game happens to be Final Fantasy IV on the DS. So um, I did emulate this at first, but I ended up did purchasing it. A lot of positives here, uh, no negatives. So the for Final Fantasy IV DS, a good challenge. It's um, it's a good enough challenge. Uh, great story additions. So I just I think I don't think I um, I almost beat this game, but I kind of stopped playing because I think um, I was trying to play four as well as um, uh, the Chronicles version, then 5, and then 6, so I wanted to come back to the DS version because it was really good. Um, the cutscenes, uh, you know, they're not that bad. The dialogue and voice acting are pretty good. Um, I felt like they were great welcomed additions to uh, Final Fantasy in general because this is after the fact that they started having uh, dialogue. Uh, the grind is not boring. The audio is perfect, as well as the music. Um, the grind, yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say the grinding isn't as bad as the other game. Like, it can be, but it isn't. It isn't as boring. I guess that's the one I'm trying to... I, I, I kind of should have that as, like, a mixed... More so than a positive, but... Mm, I don't know. The audio is perfect, as well as the music. It's a great remix soundtrack. It's pretty good. The only mixed version I have here is a, the best version if I beat the game. I'm pretty sure that this would be the best version of Final Fantasy IV if I had beat the game. However, um, I can still, I would probably still argue that 4 on the Game Boy Advance is probably still, you know, probably superior in some regards. I like the additions to some of these games, it's just, there's just so much added stuff, but I felt like, you know, maybe after, maybe after some time after I beat the game, I felt maybe this is a little too much for Final Fantasy 4. However, I mean, I still, I still welcome it, I still welcome it. Uh, moving on to the last game for this part, and yes, this is a really short part but uh yeah let's move on to the last one and the last game that we'll be mentioning in this part is final fantasy 5 uh from final fantasy 5 or final fantasy anthology which includes also final fantasy 6 um and this is the first time well actually sorry let me get to the positives here uh no negatives i've written down that's pretty good um so let's get to the positives yes this is the first final fantasy 5 version where i actually beat the game the music and audio not terrible in this port like it's it's actually fe it's not feasible it's actually um um how do i say this uh, the audio isn't sacrificed and isn't sacrificed as much in this version which i kind of find interesting cause considering that fours was meh and i think i heard the same thing for chrono trigger it's kind of meh but five's audio comparing it to like the snes audio is actually a pretty good you know, pretty good audio port, uh, and as well as the music is just great. I love the music. Um, 
Uh, the other thing is the gameplay, the job system is a lot better than 4's. I, f I personally think that is the case. The job, the job class system is just perfect in this game. Um, and then a couple of uh, mixed opinions I think I have here. The grind was bad up until a certain point, then things got easy. Um, I felt like if I had given Final Fantasy V Advance a chance, um, I would probably appreciate that version a little bit more than the anthology version because they've added, it's not really, they added a lot of things, it's just, I'm pretty sure that they would have made things more viable. And then the last thing is the cutscenes are not terrible. So that's pretty good. That, that'll be it for this part. This is the, the, uh, the end of part three. Um, fairly short, like I said. Uh, next week will be um, not another history of. It will be um, a little surprise. Uh, yeah. Stay safe, everyone.